Okay, let's uh, explain one by one. I can explain to you why I preferred this language. There is also Node.js, which has almost all libraries. C++, I can, I can uh, easily explain why I didn't choose this. I, I learned it, but never used it professionally. For one reason is it's a new language for me. It's hard to learn it. I don't think I have that much time. I wanted to build this fast. I only have, what, two hours a day. So this is out of my scope. I'm not interested in it. I didn't learn it. I Sorry, I just learned it, but never really used it. So this is gone. Uh, Node.js, or you can say TypeScript or JavaScript. I already use Node.js and TypeScript. I'm good with it. I have built a lot of servers with it. I Even in my job, I use Angular and React. So I kind of got bored. And there are multiple issues why I'm not using this. This can be covered in Python section. What else? Java. What about Rust? I'll come to that. I'll come to that. So there is Java. There is, uh, what else? Python. And then comes Rust. Okay, let's, I think I have covered C++. Uh, you can say why I didn't use it. It's new for me. Uh, I'm not used to it. Don't have time to learn a new thing. I just wanted to build this fast. So Node.js, I have explained it to you. I got bored of it. And I, tr I wanted to try the new Bun.js and the Dino, but none of them are supported in ARM-based CPUs. So you can see Bun 32-bit uh, ARM v7. Bun is not officially supported in it. It's only supported in ARM64. So that out of my options. The other one is Dino. But it doesn't really, it's not really mature yet to be run on same, the same reason. So I have to stick with Node.js, which is, which could be fine, but I don't want it to do it. I got bored of this language. And the one more other reason is it, it's, it's single threaded. As you can see, I, I'm, I can receive a lot of messages. Uh, where is it? As you can see, for one comment, I am supposed to process a lot of things. I need a fast language. So due to that, I'm not going with this Java. It's too outdated. If you are Java lovers, uh, you might hate it, but I was one of them too. I like static languages. I'm fine with object oriented, but it's losing its power. There, it, there is no support for SQLite 3 or like simple things. And the main problem is running this inside my Raspberry Pi requires 40% of memory. I only have Pi 12 MB of RAM. Let me show you. So the choice of language is not just my preference. It's a lot of things. So, so as there are other servers also running, there is a Plex server running. There is my, I do have a website of my own. It needs a backend. Even that is run in same uh, Raspberry Pi. So I have total six servers. I don't really, I don't have just one server for streams. I have a lot of other servers and everything is run in this one single Raspberry Pi. And we can see it's not it's not taking that much resources. See, it's sitting fine here. So I can't achieve that much efficiency in this language. I can do that with this or with Rust, but not with this. It needs a lot of memory. JVM needs to spin up. And then something blah, blah, blah. And again, the boilerplate code. Once you got used with Python or Node.js or Golang, you started to feel a lot of, you, you're, you feel like you're typing a lot of lines for small things. This was not an option for me. Then comes this. It's a go-to thing, but I have done my this exact application in Python back in 2022. It was working fine. Uh, probably I had less developer experience. I was just developing things, but not in a professional way. I, so I take some blame for myself for this language not working as how I expected it to be. So the thing is, this is slow. The, imagine there are two comments made in my in a single time, and it was struggling. I can see CPU spikes. Uh, th there needs to be some database handling. There needs to be some get and write. There needs to be some API calls. Uh, back in the day, I was also printing certificates, like populating a HTML a CSS certificate and showing it into my stream for people who have more than 50 points or 100 or 150 into 50. 
it was unable to handle all this there is no way and that that too when i hosted this server in my laptop the moment i deployed this code in my raspberry pi it started to act different as you can see uh, you guys have typed messages and it's counting accurately but python was not doing that it was counting things twice sometimes and sometimes it won't even count it because there is another message so there is another message so i didn't enjoy developing things with this trust me i already use python at work i'm getting paid to use it that's why i'm typing it up if if i have preference i would i would not choose this language so this comes first uh, this is the new hype language uh, this also follows the same things as c++ i don't really want to learn a new language i i really want to learn rust but i don't really have that much time and i don't know, i don't i don't think i need to do this thing i need a fast language which is efficient which can be deployed on, along with other servers in a 512 mb ram computer and it also handles i need to do a lot of concurrent things there are five commits and python would just die in it in that situations i wanted to learn golang and i already did few small projects with it so i know its potential i did build this like the backbone of my stream assistant in like 2 hours maybe you can do as a maybe fy fye can do it in 20 minutes by using python but man the stability the efficiency it's awesome and it's cross compiling that's one more thing i'll tell you what it is as you can see i'm developing on windows but my raspberry pi uh, runs on linux it's raspberry pi is made to deploy things so you have a server you can deploy it in raspberry pi but you cannot build a server in raspberry pi it takes i, I don't know i started the command but it couldn't build it in less than 5 minutes it was taking more than that so what i do is i develop in my windows uh by giving just few like three commands i'll show you by using these set gos uh, golang output operating system to linux output operating system to arm and the version to 7 it will compile my code for my raspberry pi in windows i can just copy that one file and deploy it in my raspberry and just in four lines i don't need any dependencies installed in my raspberry pi so i have a lot of batteries included Yeah, that's why I just uh, sticked with this language. There were some issues. The more you use Python and Node.js, everything has a package of its own. You need uh, some other hardware level or any other thing. You you would you have you would have a package. But in Golang, obviously, it's not really like that mature as Python. The, the user base is still low. You won't be uh, having all the packages, the same number of packages what you have for Node.js or Python. So your options are limited. So I had to. build my own some janky things but it works hope you liked it so yeah that's my pep talk why i prefer this language